Namaste guys I hope you are doing uh, great so in this video I am gonna show you how to do cloth simulation in SOLIDWORKS so first of all I am doing all this in assembly and so click on insert components click on your part select the part click on the workspace and click on edit component after that select the top plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view after that click on state slot select the first one and draw a line like this and give it a dimension as per your requirement here I am giving it a dimension of 500 mm but you can change it as per your requirement and let's give it a let's say 30 after that click ok and just create a circle for a reference uh, let's say it's 10 mm and we need to create a, another one and select this one slot and its height is gonna be 450 and its depth its width is 10 mm after that go to features click on extrude post space select this make uh, you can change the thickness as per your requirement but it doesn't gonna matter uh, really so after that we created our first part now click on uh, click on the exit assembly component and click again on new part and select the top plane so sorry first of all you need to select the part click on the workspace click on the edit component select the top plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view after that you need to go center point state slot and give it a dimensions as per your requirement here i am giving a dimension of 150 mm but you can change it if you want and give it a dimension of 10 mm and draw a circle of dimension of 10 mm and draw another circle of dimension of 10 mm and click ok and give go to features click on extrude extrude boss space sorry i forget one thing i need to draw another circle make sure you draw a circle once here also click ok after that click on extrude boss space click on 10 mm click ok after that exit the edit assembly component now right click on this part click on float so that we can move it as per our requirement and go to the mates select the, the center and select this point click ok and select this face and select the bottom face of the slot click ok after that exit here now press control and right click on the mouse drag it now basically what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a season mechanism here you might wondering where is the cloth uh, don't worry i'm gonna make it one uh, uh, but it will not take some time so be patient and after that select this and this face okay make it tangent after that select this face and this face click ok select this face and press ctrl plus 8 here you see that the tangent is not correctly mated so go to the mates right click on tangent click on edit go downwards click on mate alignment click on anti mate and click ok now as you can see it's moving so basically this gives the animation to our close of moving so now let's make another part also now press ctrl and drag repeat the process again select uh, this part and this part click ok and after that select this face and 
this. Moved onward. Or delete it. Let's see what kind of problem we have here. And now go to the mate, select this face and this face click ok as you can see I am just making two parts coincide so don't worry about it because uh, when I will do the simulation these parts will not gonna show that is the reason I don't care about these coincide uh, coincident and make sure they are made correctly click ok now let's make just last component after that I will make the cloth go to the mates select this thing and this thing click ok select this face select this face click ok and select the circle and select this line make sure it's correctly uh, as you can see it's not correct so go downwards click on anti-alignment click ok and as here you can see when i move it it's moving so now let's do the last part of our work so go to the new part select the new part click on workspace click on edit component now select the top plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 uh, watch this step carefully because it is the most important step click on style spline select make sure you are selecting the center ok and again select the center oh press escape sorry for a mistake uh, select the style spline select the center select the center again select the center select the center select the center again select center select center select center and last Select center, press escape. So basically, this line defined our cloth direction. And after that, click on the exit sketch. Now go to the 3D sketch, move downwards, click on sketch line, and select this point and draw a line. Make sure it's uh, XY, it's along the XY. So increase the length of the line as per the requirement of your cloth you can change it as per your requirement after that go to the surfaces click on sub surface uh, click on profile select this so for sec uh, click select this line okay go to sub surface component and when I move this like this part and when I move this and click on rebuild so it's got the rebuild like this oh, no it's totally right let's edit the path so select go to surfaces like the top face click on edit sketch sorry first you need to select this part click on edit component and select this and click on edit sketch press ctrl plus 8 and delete these lines and go to line command select the line command remember I am making this uh, this thing first time in my life I just saw about I just think about this uh, that it can be possible so I am just making it first time in my life so if you saw any mistake sorry for that 
and sorry for wasting your valuable time and this and and this is my original content okay i didn't steal from anybody or copy it okay after i did the sketch continue to error okay we got this go to 3d sketch exit it go to search surface click on edit feature so why the hell is showing me the error exit okay saying this is error in sketch 2 but what is the error so let's draw the line again make it show it coincide with this point make it uh, show it along with x y press escape and draw the line vertical exit the sketch ok now it's not showing error exit the data assembly component as you can move it and click on the rebuild here you can see and if we go to our top plane go to edit sketch sorry first we need to go to edit components and go to the sketch press ctrl plus 8 and give it a some fillet for better result you know smooth because claw doesn't have sharp edges like this when they move so click ok and exit the sketch and exit the edit assembly component move this part here and click on rebuild so here we got the we got now let's do the animation part so before doing the animation parts make sure you hide all these components that is the reason i doesn't care about them that how they made or how they see because i'm just gonna hide it it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't matter how does they look because at the end i'm just gonna hide them click on hide components and the last one click on hide components okay now go to the appearances go to fabric click on cloth click on blue cotton click on the part so go to the motion studies select the select this part and move the time bar make it to 5 seconds and move downward and select this part click on motor let's just show this part for temporary so that i can do the animal animation thing change the direction and go to distances change the distance to 30 degree and here you see the time is wrong so change the time to zero and any time is five seconds click ok and it's currently doing the animation thing and hide this part now click on animate I know it's not look much good because I have a potato PC so sorry for that and let's hide the sketches I don't know why this blue line is showing up pink line sorry so click on animate here you see so if you want a better animation just go here and click increase the fps i hope you guys like it if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste